All right, what's up everyone? My name is Drexens and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. I'm trying this new thing here where I have a uh, bigger screen for my intros and probably outros. We'll see. Um, and I can just quickly uh, transition to the game from here. So, we will uh, continue what we were doing. Let's see, uh, I think last time Sojiro told us about Futaba. Are you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? Well, actually, Morgana, let me tell you. I did wonder for just a minute, and then I didn't care anymore, it turns out. I the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Yes. Where were you? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I think I, I can. I checking out the chief's house. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. What was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. Great. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Great. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Yeah, just who is she? In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about uh. we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. You know... Uh, future time skip. I did the math with this and Xenoblade series. I'm gonna be doing this for a while. It's gonna be like a year. Really wish I could do longer episodes. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Yes indeed, my dude. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Yes. That's right. Then how was Medjid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Thanks, man. Of course. <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. I'm not jabbing. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. I've been telling you coherent things since the start. You just refuse to accept them. It seems Sai Nijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Nice. Rank two. We're like good friends right. now. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. I don't know what you just said. Coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Okay, I will. Stop interrupting, and maybe it would go faster. We have to go to the school for an assembly. Seriously? They're seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting. I guess they need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation. Spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. My just statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. Could just be a joke. There's talk that this could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. Wonder if they're gonna target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjet is after. This is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. I know. But there's really nothing we can do. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. I know Morgana. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Ren. Morning. Hmm? Is there something over there? Come on, let's go. We're going to be late. Yeah, okay on. Okay on. Whatever you say. Ay, ay, ay. No one cares about your stupid. I th that's pro. That's just lore stuff, probably, you know? I like lore. 
but not. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. I just skipped the assembly. I wanted to see it. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. <laughs> you really should buy a couple more outfits. Don't talk to Yusuke like that. No one pays him. Come now, we didn't gather here to Ow. make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Prince Ali. I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. Ugh. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. You know what else is absolutely necessary? Hitting that like button. I'm good at what I do. Yeah, and subscribe. Don't forget that part. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. That's cool. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? Obviously, if she does. That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Okay, we just make me yawn. Has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. That's a decent explanation. I don't really understand. Who wouldn't understand? Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's sure. asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we uh, heal Futaba's uh, heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. Yeah, Medjet. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Uh, Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. How do you know anything about any of this, Morgana? There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like. Or the distortion that'll be there. Wouldn't it be great if we just could waltz right in and, and just do it and not be... We may run into some stopped. unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yeah. Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? Get crack a lacking. The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Yeah, he'll, he won't suspect us. For sure. Important memories, huh? Is Joker a part of Clan Sakai? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? I, I hope so. That has to be the case. Yep. I has to be. Definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. I don't think you want that. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Yeah, you know, who knows? I'm just lucky. <laughs> you sure live up to my expectations. Thanks, man. I live up to my expectations as well. Wow. Allows you to craft all infin inf infiltration rules. All right. I speak right. Words happen correctly. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Okay. Uh now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. That's smart. Maybe an oasis? That's not that doesn't make things so far. In that case, how about hell? <laughs> 
That's a good one, Yusuke. Nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can. Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say um... to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Ryuji, you're gonna get me assassinated, and it's not gonna be fun. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh, getting cold feet, Makoto? <sighs> she just wants to tackle my leg Don't again. Worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I mean, we could just keep guessing. It's not that hard. I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. Uh... <laughs> this is Futaba's room. Great. It's a wooden door. Futaba-chan... Kind of sticks out. You're in there, right? There's no answer. Oh well, she's dead. I guess we have to leave. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Hmm. She hates you, Makoto. Oh, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? My phone just. I mean, my uh, controller just. Uh, it's Aladdin. Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? Because she thinks she's cool. You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. She refuses to accept that she's not Aladdin. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why she knows we what want that means. to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right, then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. What the? You. Try and get a keyword out of her. Okay. What do you want to hear? Uh, what is this house to you? A house is a house. Looks like you should ask something. Great. I was living in this house. It's painful. Why? I don't know. Jesus Christ! I can't leave this place. I'm gonna die here. Die? Is this going to continue? Uh, you should leave. That's impossible. This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? I hope so. Try entering tomb. Okay, tomb. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it. Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Technically, you called the deal off. But Well then, let's hurry up and go. And Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't activate it here. If Ryuji could stop being who he is for just a moment, life would be a lot easier. You it's killed us. Desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Uh, Why'd you activate it like that? You're asking Ryuji why he was an idiot. Is that Let that why sink in. Up in the desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. 
Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. <sighs> what a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kanashiro's bank. I want to go back to his bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Nobody knows where you're pointing. Oh yeah, there's something shiny. That's called a pyramid. I'm in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? We have a car right here, you fools. Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. He's got like little angry eyebrows. <laughs> Make sure to put the AC on full blast. Thanks, man. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. Autobots, roll the frick out, man. Oh, a cutscene. That's me. Opening the windows to the hot desert air. Does it? Hey, on, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. You killed us, on. How are the guys? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> what is Yusuke doing? Hey, it's not my fault. Ryuji yanked me up. Is that it? There we go. He dragged me forward. It's the end. I had no say in it. Okay. I hate this palace. I hate it. Billy Tony. It's so hot. <sighs> AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. You could have just walked, Ryuji. What was that? You want to fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. It is hot. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. <laughs> Yeah, how hot is it in that house? Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. Wow, she thinks very highly of herself. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Well, it doesn't do that, now does it? Reviving the dead? Hmm? That's not possible. It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Me too, hey, thanks. Can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Yeah, because there's gonna be AC inside the massive desert pyramid. Stupid. Oh, man. Ugh, so freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. I'd love to, but I'm fairly certain it's locked. It seems. Taba's Palace. So, this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Sure! Okay! Okay, we'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in there, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. Oh, it wasn't locked. I was wrong. I lied. I lied to myself, and I lied to everyone. Whoa! It's so nice inside. Is this place air-conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba's room in reality has a C pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh, our clothes still haven't changed, even now. This has never happened to us before. What to do? It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat. We are, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. Yeah. Yeah, let's explore. Let's explore. Oh my god, Jesus, that scared me. I jump, I jump, I jump. 
These stairs go pretty far. There's no... There's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we as ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Let's go. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. I don't want to. I hate this place. I don't like deserts. I don't like pyramids. I don't like heat. I don't like anything. I don't care. It's beautiful. Uh, Do you think so? Oh hey. Huh? There's someone there. Hey, is this? No. That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. You don't know that. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True. This one's kind of dressed like a queen. You, I mean, Ryuji opened the thing real close to her room. He could have sucked her right in. Broke the so palace down. Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured mm. possession is? This is going nowhere. Oh well, guess we have to leave. leave her. Yes. Will you guys shut up for a bit? No. Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but she's an idiot. You're saying you want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. You skate. Creepy child, you killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you? You skate, you make me uh, not want to live. You're the one who killed her! Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near me. Stand there, say something. Your she turned into a ghost, she died, Danny Phantom That's style. Right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? Indiana Jones is here. My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Great. Well. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This. Again. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague with that murderer! Man? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? I told you Indiana Jones was here, you stupid idiots. <laughs> now, now, now. Uh oh. Ugh. Good stuff. Good stuff. We almost got schmooshed. We're safe. I was too close. Wait. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more, then come back? Good idea. True. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. 
That's what we were talking about, Makoto. I hate this palace. I just do. I know a lot of people hate the Okumura Palace, but the date that gosh. Set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. Like the Phantom Thieves. This is just out, have not made any notable actions at this time. The game is good. It peaks around the Kanashiro, and then I feel like it just goes downhill. Just during this palace. I'm actually perfectly okay with Okumura's palace. So, you know. Will Medjid carry out their cyber terrorism? I don't know. No one knows. In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Sounds good, man. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? Utaba can even listen in. We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. Don't be so happy about We're it. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. Ryuji's uh, just... That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Is that really surprising? Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Yusuke wasn't, but I don't know about Joker. Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. God damn it. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. How could you stare? Your freaking eyeballs are at the front of the car, you idiot. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be alright like this? Your hideout has moved from Shibuya a take you building X his way to the Young and Jaya Cafe LeBlanc. I'm pretty sure I read all that perfectly. Not again. Yes. Very upsetting. That's just too bad. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Medjid? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjid will definitely make a move. <gasps> Prince Ali! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjid? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then... Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why does this have to be during summer vacation? Dude, Ryuji, you were the one who was super excited sounding like 10 minutes ago. We don't have any other choice. Ren, as always, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. <sighs> we have to do this. Okay. Ah, <sighs> boy. God damn it, what now? Hey, listen up. This is horrible. The fan site is gone. I try to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjed? Uh. Maybe? Sure. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time to. In until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh. 
What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm gonna try to look into a little more, though. Uh, see you. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Is it really that hard? Sure, kid's kind of an idiot. I'm sure his servers aren't the most, um, secure. Anyways, bam! Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you liked, subscribe if you're not already, and if you are, ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.